This video is for the young bucks. I know a lot of you guys have high ambitions and you want to make a lot of money, so I'll put this video together for you because it's not every day that someone who used to sit in that same exact spot that you're sitting in right now sits down and talks to you about how to navigate through life while being financially responsible. Right now I'm 26 and I've had a lot of time to reflect on my own financial decisions from age 18 all the way up until now. And what I'm about to talk to you about is my ups and downs with money so you can walk away with the valuable lessons I learned from my financial mistakes and my financial successes. I'm just gonna go ahead and warn you right now. The advice in this video isn't coming from a normal perspective. This is coming from the view of someone who's had above average financial results. So my outlook might be a little different compared to what you're used to. With that said, this video isn't for anyone who just wants it easy or wants to do the bare minimum and expects to get results within the blink of an eye. This is for the person who doesn't mind putting a little bit of work in up front and getting the future they want in the end. Hey, what's up? My name is Reggie Bryans, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth, where I show you how to save money, make more money, and better yourself every single day so you can live life on your own terms. Let's get into this video. If you're 18 and up, there's no time more important for your personal finances than right now. You're at the age where you're definitely making your own money, you're about to move out and get your own place if you haven't already, and at that point, it's you against the world, which is both scary and exciting at the same time. This is where the decisions you make now can affect you for decades or even the rest of your life. So it's extremely important that you make smart financial decisions now so you don't become a bitter 40 year old man or woman who wishes they did things differently when they were younger. The first thing I wanna tell you is you're gonna to have to unlearn some things. There's people in your life right now who's told you all throughout your life things about money and life that just aren't true. And it's not that they're trying to derail you or to hinder your success in life. They may genuinely believe what they're telling you. Those beliefs sound like this. Your 20s are for making mistakes. Have fun. These are the best years of your life. Go on ahead and take out that loan to get that car you've been talking about. You got the money to cover the monthly payment? Like they can somehow see what your financial situation looks like, right? These are all traps that get taken way out of context that can easily end with you spending the next 10 to 20 years trying to correct the mistake you made in your late teens or early 20s. First of all, as an adult, you're gonna have two potentially dangerous things that you didn't have when you were living with mom and dad. That's freedom and money. Now you have the freedom to hit up the bar with the boys. Now you can be out until the wee hours of the morning doing God knows what with God knows who and not really have to answer for it. There's something about this level of freedom that makes it intoxicating to the point where it becomes a habit. A habit that mentally blurs your concept of time because during the week, your focus, your only focus becomes the weekend. Just so you can have fun. Me personally, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, and it's not all that great in my opinion, so call me boring, but it's never really been that appealing to me, you know what I mean? It might appeal to you though. You might enjoy clubbing, bar hopping, staying out late, going out to raves and all that good stuff. And that's cool to each his own. You know, everyone has their own thing that they're into. But something I see over and over again with people who are in their early 20s or even 18 year olds who are on the party scene, getting into places, faking IDs and just having the times of their lives just so they can have fun. They all have something in common. They tend to prioritize fun over responsibility. I saw this in college my freshman year. I saw kids getting completely trashed in their dorm rooms. I remember seeing the empty beer cans on the floor, going into rooms that smelt like liquor, and you could argue this is completely normal college kid behavior. But bro, it was finals week. Like we literally had a final the next morning at 8 a.m. It was 3 a.m. And I know because I had to be the one to drag drunk folks back to the room and lock them in there so I could get some sleep. Anyway, that's just a simple example, but to be perfectly honest with you, a lot of those guys doing all that drinking during the finals week, they ended up dropping out. You're probably looking at your screen right now like, okay, what does that have to do with money? Bro, it has everything to do with money. Most young adults barely make enough to cover their living expenses. Like some of them literally have to reach out to family members and friends just to support them financially. And I'm not looking down on them. I'm just telling you how this thing goes. And I'll admit this is completely based off my own experience, but these are the same types of guys and girls you'll see in the bar on a Saturday night knocking one back. So if you're doing that now in your 20s, do you think it's just going to magically stop when you're in your 40s? Probably not. It affects your money in two ways. For one, it hurts you because you barely have the money to cover your needs right now, yet you're still prioritizing fun over your financial responsibilities. 
So even though you just got done complaining about how your job doesn't pay you enough, you leave work on a hurry on a Friday just to go to the bar. For what? So, so you could buy a, a beer, a, a couple shots? I mean, does that make sense to you, bro? Is that meaningful? Like, there's cheaper ways to drink. You could hit up a grocery store and get what you need for a much cheaper price. But whenever I say that, I get hit with this. Well, you know, it's, it's about the experience you get when you're at the bar. Again, having fun is more important than taking care of your newly found adult responsibilities? That doesn't sound like an adult who has their priorities straight to me. This is why you have to grow up, step up your game, and realize that if you're struggling to keep up with your bills, you need to get that figured out before even thinking about what you're going to do this weekend to enjoy yourself. You can tell yourself you're just taking a load off or you're just blowing off steam, but that's just the way to justify irresponsible behavior, bro. I'm just being real with you. And the second way this affects your money is the time you spend having fun could be spent working on your problems. If you feel like you aren't making enough money at work, you can figure out how to advance, make connections, work more hours, make more money outside of work. This stuff isn't hard to do, but it does take discipline, which unfortunately a lot of guys don't have. And I'm not saying not to have fun and not to party. You're grown, so do what you want to do, but it should be done responsibly i.e. not every weekend. When you're between, say, 18 and 25, everyone runs up and tells you, get it out of your system, have fun, you're young, and blah, blah, blah. But if you use that same time that everybody is telling you to have fun, to put a little more work in, get your money right, and figure out how to make more of it, you could be financially secure much faster, which means you can now have fun as much as you want, guilt-free. But instead, there's an overarching fear. The fear of missing out on valuable experiences and unforgettable moments that can only be captured in places that require your money and attention. Maybe it's just the fear of being thought of as the boring person who misses out on everything. But let me tell you something, bro. It might feel like you're missing out at first, but if you spend your 20s only focusing on fun, you're going to actually miss out on the opportunities you could have had in the future. The future of being able to travel wherever you want without even having to look at your bank account. The future of having several thousands of dollars in your accounts at your disposal. Or just the future of being financially stable to the point where you don't have to stress about money. All that partying and drinking, bro. I mean, sure, it can be fun, but how meaningful is that? How much value does that add to your life? When you're just getting started out, that's not the priority. The priority should be, what is my plan? Two years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, where do I want to be? How much money do I want to be making every month? How much money do I want to have in my bank account? What kind of lifestyle do I want? What type of life do I want to be able to provide for my family? What places do I want to go to? These are the questions someone starting out should be asking themselves. I know because I did it. I took every bit of advice that I'm giving you in this video and it's worked out pretty well. This doesn't just apply to those who are partying and drinking. This is also for y'all who be sitting on the couch not doing nothing all day, being unproductive, watching TV all day. Because if you want the financial results that you say you want, you gotta get up and do something. You gotta be productive. This is all just a different version of the same traps, distraction and comfort. If you're like me, you might have grown up seeing that your family members could actually do pretty well for themselves while holding down nine to five jobs, and then on the weekends, they just relax, or they might have even taken the family out. Now, things are different than that. Most of y'all say you wanna make six figures early on, like before the age of 30. And if you're saying that in one breath, but in another, you're spending your off time just chilling, and you're not doing anything to make yourself more valuable, I can promise you, you won't get there. The era of working 40 hours a week and making ridiculous money is almost completely gone. Right now, I don't know anyone who makes six figures who only works 40 hours a week. Not a single one. Not me, not my peers, not my mentors, nobody. Even when I was making 65, 85 grand a year, I was still putting in way more than 40 hours a week. So I just want to put that out there so you can understand, bro, like you are not going to reach your financial goals if you're only planning on working 40 hours a week and just chilling the rest of the time. It's, it's not going to happen. If that were the case, everybody would be making six figures and making money would be the easiest thing in the world to do. But that's not the case. You got to put in some work up front. So while everyone else in their late teens and early 20s are just out partying or sitting around not doing nothing, I encourage you to spend that time making yourself better and learning the things you need to learn to get your life together because for most of you guys, if you're anything like I was, you're not gonna be 100% ready to take on the real world by yourself. 
at least not yet. And not only that, I also encourage you to figure out how to make more money and how to be as valuable as possible. I never said this was gonna be fun, easy, or sexy, but it is necessary. And I know by this one thing, just look at the results. You know, my friends from college who still prioritize fun over their responsibilities always complain about how they don't have any money. And some of them are making eight, $9,000 a month. And this is without kids or any other really big financial responsibility. So how does that work, bro? See, that tells me even if they had more money, they would find a way to spend it. And that's neighboring right there in that six-figure range that we were just talking about. Eight, eighty-five hundred to 9000 That's already in the six-figure range. And I'm not judging them. I'm telling you how this is. This pattern of spending more money than you have is going to follow most people for the rest of their lives. And that's why you got to nip this in the bud while you're young. And when you start your full-time job, invest in a 401k. All you do, set a percentage for how much you want to come out of your paycheck every single month. Make sure your company matches you and then forget you had it. You won't miss the money, but check it periodically. And then I guarantee you, 10 to 20 years from then, you'll see just how quickly it grows. And it grows a lot. Some people don't start that until they're in their 40s. Then as you get established, if I were you, I would set up a Roth IRA and then just keep putting as much money in it as possible that you can actually afford to put in there until it caps out at $6,000. And it's going to cap out at $6,000 every single year. This is how you grow your money behind the scenes without even paying any attention to it, without really even having to do anything because your money automatically goes with these things. And it's also how you build wealth outside of your savings. So here's my complete recommendation. I'm not a financial advisor, though. Get your finances in order, live below your means, and be frugal with your money at first until you figure out the pattern. Don't be lazy and figure out how to make more money on the side, which, by the way, I have a lot of videos on that. Don't get caught up in the fact that most guys and girls your age are just living it up every weekend. I can promise you that even though some of this might be boring at first, your results will speak for themselves. They can call you boring or whatever, but one thing about it is they can't argue with your results. And one thing I also realize is the word boring seems to always get confused with the word responsible. Anyway, I'm not saying to completely cut out your fun or to completely remove yourself from the things in life that you enjoy. Just remember at the end of the day what your most important priority is. And then from there, you can plan out how often you want to have fun and how often you pursue your goals and your purpose in life. And simply don't let anyone knock you off your focus. Don't let dating, partying, drinking, gaming, or any of that stuff distract you from your goals and your responsibilities. And lastly, the money that you save from not overindulging the things that I talked about earlier, that money goes towards your wealth building and you get to decide if that goes into your savings or into your investments. I hope you got something out of this video and this is actually the video that ties in all of my videos about financial advice for 18 year olds and young adults. They all go into different topics that will help you improve your finances while also avoiding the money traps that most adults fall for so easily. So feel free to check those out. Anyway, this is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances and control your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw and I will see you in the next video. Stay cold.